run it up, Q. All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q, back at it again with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some beasts like Kyle Jr. and Oboid. So the reason I'm grouping these two together is because um, Kyle Jr. and Oboid are part of uh, Paper Camp, and I believe they are, I think, at least. I mean, the Instagram is following like 13 people, and Oboid and Kyle are in there, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a lot of producers I look up to, so. Anyway, so I think a huge reason why uh, these producers are really popular is the style of their drums and melodies. I might be wrong, but I think Kyle Jr. definitely created like his own style of drums. It's kind of like these really hard hitting, like distorted 808s, really loud hi-hats, and just like really bouncy drums. So basically that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do today. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be doing kind of like a two for one. So the melody is really gonna be inspired by Oh Boy, and then uh, the drums are really gonna be more of Kyle Jr. Like I said, realistically, I feel like these producers kind of have their own sound that they're like, it's really driven by uh, the whole idea of what Paper Camp is. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So to start out with the melody, I'm gonna bring the BPM down to 117. And then um, I'm gonna go to the piano roll and just set my scale highlighting to G minor. Okay, so now first thing I'm gonna do is open up Omnisphere and just load up a keyscape patch. All right, so I got this keyscape patch loaded up, LA Custom C7 Softest, and I'm gonna just go ahead and click in a melody, and I will be back to you guys when I'm done with that. All right, so basically the melody is done. Uh, I just clicked in this piano piece right here. I'll let you guys listen to it. All right, so next all I'm gonna do is copy the original chord progression, paste it into some kind of ARP, and kind of make it into a pad. I might throw on like gross beat or something like that, but it's just gonna be like a nice background sound just to fill in everything else. All right, so I found this patch in Electra X called Astro Thunder, which is uh, an ARP from a studio plug bank I have. And all I did is copy the original chord progression. Uh, I think I brought it up an octave, and then I brought it to this mixer track, turned it down, Put an imager on it, make it real wide, and then a little bit of reverb so it sounds like this now. All right, so to finish this melody off, all I'm gonna do is find some kind of like vocal chop. So I'm gonna go into Arcade and just really search for something that sounds really good with this melody. All right, so melody's done. Added some vocal chops and I added like this little bell that I got from uh, Bass One's Rogue one shot kit um and one thing i forgot to mention is usually the melodies that oh boy and kyle jr use are pretty low like i'd say uh, about minus nine decibels so that's just about where mine's sitting so i'll let you guys listen to the finished melody and then i'll start working on the drums Cool, so let's get to the drums. So um, so before you do anything with the drums, uh, make sure you got a soft clipper on your master and then let's get into it. So I'm gonna start out with a clap. I'm gonna just be using this one in my kit called Best. It's like really distorted, pretty loud. All right, and then for the hi-hat, everyone probably has this hi-hat, it's just called Hit 2. Pretty sure it's by Lex Luger. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drag that in there. And then I'm gonna go and drag this out knob up just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna go to the miscellaneous functions and bring the shift knob up just to set it off grid, give it a little bit more bounce. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find a nice hi hat. All right, so with your hi hat, uh, one thing I always notice is Kyle always has like a really loud hi hat and he uses the one sixth beat uh, step, which uh, sounds like this. I also notice a lot of times he has like a, a lot of velocity variations. So the velocity is going up and down just to create like a little more rhythm. But uh, yeah, that's how I feel like he does the hi-hat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some snares and some perks. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is the hi-hat. So you guys probably all have this hi-hat. Um, I don't even know what it is, but it sounds like this. But if not, it's in my kit, so cop that. But uh, just what I'm gonna do is just bring the out knob up a little bit 
turn it down. I'm gonna pan it to the left because for some reason this is uh, by default pan to the right. And then I just put it on the first beat and that's pretty much it for the hi-hat. And then I know Kyle likes to use uh, this reversed open hat, which is just this open hat, but reversed and it's a little bit shorter. Sounds like that. So you'll do, you can do something like this. So what I'm gonna do is just bring the velocity down and I'm gonna bring it down like 200 cents. Also added two snares. I'll, I'll let you guys listen to everything so far. So we got a clap, hi hat, two snares, an open hat, and a reversed hat. All right. So before we do the 808 last part, um, I'm gonna take all these drums by clicking the first one, dragging all the way down. Then we go to the mixers. I'm gonna go to mixer track seven. Hit Control Shift L, and it'll route them all. And then I'm gonna make sure there's no low end in this hi-hat because I know this hi-hat has a little bit. Might clash with some stuff. And then I'm gonna give you guys a little hi-hat sauce. So uh, if you get Effectrix, you can probably do this with a lot of other plugins too, but there is this part in here called reverse. And what it does is it'll just take the hi-hat and play it in reverse at certain parts wherever you drag it in, like a certain pattern. <clears throat> and this, this can really add like some really cool bounce. I know Kyle uses it a lot, it's super cool. Okay, so before I do the 808, I'm gonna let you guys listen to what I do with the hi-hat. Cool, so uh, before you do 808s, always make sure you route your melodies to a melody bus or melody track and just take out all the low end. All right, so now for that special part, the 808. I know everyone wants this sauce. So, super simple, but it sounds amazing. So, it's uh, it's this 808 in my kit called Whippa. All it is is a spins 808, cut pretty short, and then it's just distorted. So I'll drag it in here, make sure you click cut itself. And then I'm gonna make a pattern, and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly like how to make the 808 sound like that. Also, for your 808s, just make sure you follow the root note, and if your 808s tuned to key, uh, tuned to C, you should be set. All right, so I got the 808 pattern finished. Uh, this is what it looks like, and this is what it sounds like. Cool. So all I did to do this is basically I got the 808 turned up pretty loud. And then it's routed to this mixer track right here. Let me solo it. And you can see it's not even it's not even hitting over uh, zero decibels. So I got a fruity soft clipper on the 808 mixer track. So this is like really like the secret. I feel like this is what really makes it sound how it sounds. So if I take this off, it's gonna get like way too loud to the point where if you send this to anyone, they're not gonna be able to rap on it because it's just gonna be distorting the entire like all the vocals. So like, I'll let you guys listen to it without the free soft clipper. So it's sit, it's sitting at like plus three decibels, which is it's just too loud. So you put this on, you can just turn the mixture track down a little bit too. And ideally you want your 808 to be at like minus three decibels. But if you wanted to sound like super cool on YouTube and stuff like that, then keep it up. And just when you're sending, when you're sending out exclusives, they're gonna ask for stems. So then just turn it down. But if you want it to sound good on YouTube, just bring it up a little bit and then you'll get this sound. I'm gonna raise the beat. Uh, you'll hear it after this, but that is it for this video. If you guys did learn anything, hit that like button. Make sure to sub for new videos. Hit that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. Also, make sure you drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you didn't know, uh, I got a loot kit out that I just dropped for free. You should have saw like a little preview in the beginning of the video. But if you want to download that, hit the link in the description. You'll see it. Just find it in there somewhere. But that's everything. I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, turn it up, cute.